For the first time, we have the data and the capacity to add and remove specific islands from quarantine, which providing, uh, while still providing maximum protection to the UK public. There are thousands of islands across the globe, far too many for JVC to monitor uh, on a detailed level. But it may assist the House if I outline the four guiding principles uh, which we intend to apply. First, this regionalised approach can only apply to land that has clear boundaries or border, in other words, an island. Second, the data collected must be robust, reliable and internationally comparable. Third, the island must have direct flights from the UK or at the very minimum, transport must, have take, must be able to take place through quarantine exempt territories. And fourth, the FCDO travel advice should align as far as practicable. However, it is worth noting that the policy will not necessarily open up additional islands immediately. For example, when we remove Spain from the travel corridor list, there were 24 cases per 100,000. Today, there are 127 cases, and it remains too high in the Balearic and Canary Islands as well. On the other hand, Greece remains within our travel corridor programme, but our new analysis shows that some of the islands are well outside of the parameters. Indeed, despite overall Greek infection levels being lower than ours, Scotland has already felt compelled to add the entirety of Greece, including the mainland, to the quarantine. However, using our newly acquired JBC data, we're now in a position to remove Greek islands where holidaymakers are at risk of spreading the new infection back home, and seven Greek islands will therefore be removed from travel uh, list at 4am on Wednesday, the 9th of September, whilst maintaining mainland Greece.